another day, another interview. Matter of fact, I have two interviews today. One is going to be in person, and then the other one is going to be virtual, which I've never had a virtual interview. But wish me luck, you guys. Okay. or the whole hospital okay. so she'll just kind of be like observing how you interact like comfort level you know that kind of thing okay. so really how far you can go is all on you mm -hmm. um, because we always need good people mm -hmm. um, and really it's the only limitation is your enthusiasm and your skill level Suzanne, her biggest thing is, does the person demonstrate to me that they want to learn, okay. that they want to participate, do they want to be a part of the team? Because she can teach anybody. She taught the manager from nothing for this location. Mm -hmm. So she came in totally green. So if you're paying attention to what she wants, mm -hmm. you're, you're going to get there. Okay. So, um, and I don't mean she's a very nice person, but she goes by the book. She goes Doesn't by the book, corners. right? I so totally she wants things it. done correctly. Um, we take appointments, but we also take walk-ins. Okay. We do curbside service, just like every other hospital these mm -hmm. days because of COVID. Um, we're something. we're open seven days a week. So you bring with you your skill and your experience, mm -hmm. but our procedures may be different, our protocols may be different, how we call clients and what we call them on may be different. Mm -hmm. So always ask first okay. and then do. Don't make assumptions. Mm -hmm. um, we, want, we want to know where your skill level is at, so we're gonna try and assess that. Okay. But, um, you know, if you, like you know they'll they'll take you aside and they'll show you how to do a blood draw you know what the proper procedure is you mm -hmm. know and then like our our rule is you have two chances mm -hmm. and then you have to turn it over to somebody else because okay. the animal is not there to be Hooked in your the pink cushion, yeah you know? <laughs> so i mean it is things like that you know they'll show you the proper way like um suzanne was just talking today about two of our texts restraining an animal to express anal glands. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> they had it going, the animal going the wrong direction, like pointed towards the medications. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh. We want it away from the medications yeah. where it can't do damage, right? So stuff like that, you mm -hmm. know, you're not just going to be thrown in the deep end okay. and asked to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a big thing. I, I love to do hands-on. Yeah. I mean, that will be, I'm sure they'll, They'll ask you to restrain, you know, just to see what your tech, where your technique is, you mm -hmm. know, and they'll they'll offer correction. When correction is offered, it's not punitive. It's to help you build your skill, you mm -hmm. know. So if they say, "Hey, don't do it this way. Do it this way," you know, they're not looking for you to say, "Oh, well, I meant to do it that way." Yeah, All no. they're looking for is to say, "Got it. Well, yeah. and again, I'll do it the right yeah. way." You know, I understand so, that. So, scrubs, close toe shoes, what you're wearing today is great. Um, as far as hair, makeup, jewelry, tattoos, we don't have any restrictions with the exception of number one, it can't interfere with the performance of your job. Okay. So, that's fine. I can um, wear long sleeves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it. that's okay too. Um, the other thing is um, if Anything is perceived as harassing or offensive or threatening to anybody, mm -hmm. that's a no-no as well. Okay. Um, but you'll see plenty of variety of what people have going on. Okay. So, um, you know, we generally, we don't have any, we don't care. Any other questions for me? Nope. Not at the moment. Okay. Yeah.
Okay, great. So Next much. Tuesday, awesome. Yes. Next Tuesday. Thanks so much for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited. Susan's good. Alright, you guys. So I am done with my interview. And I'll let you guys know how it went. Woo. You guys, I did pretty well. Um, now the next step is a working interview. Like I had the first time, but I think this one I may get a little bit more hands on. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, okay. Well, Danielle just finished her interview. I'm going to see how it went. I have another interview, or the virtual interview, at 3 o'clock, so I don't know if I'll screen record that. Or... Alright, y'all, so I'm home now. Probably about to eat, get comfortable, and then watch Gotham until my 3 o'clock interview. So I'll see y'all then.